so the first application on the list which is not on the play store goes by the name of last launcher and as you guys can see this is uh, quite literally the meaning of a launcher well essentially all it is is your application names that are installed on your phone on uh, the main screen which is literally the only screen in the launcher and as far as customization is concerned you can select particular applications and you know increase their size or decrease them and color code them in case you want to identify them quickly but that's all it is it's just a list of all the apps that your phone has and essentially that is you know supposed to be a replacement for any other launcher it's really cool it's really different in case you're looking for it it'll be linked below definitely check it out all right guys next up we've got something called vector camera which is a again an application that you know uses real time effects applied on what your camera is pointing at now these effects can include anything from this crazy ai matrix look with everything that the camera sees replaced by texts and you know certain animations of texts falling down on the screen you can obviously click pictures in high quality as well and there are a lot of settings that you can configure or you can also select pictures that have already been clicked and are saved in your gallery and apply an effect on them in case you want to there are a ton of effects and all of them provide real time view of what they will essentially do so it's a really cool camera app to try out and you know experience just in case you want to so check it out link in the description below all right guys next up is an application called f droid which is a community maintained software repository for android which means that it is similar to the google play store in this very aspect that you can download applications from it now this is a very well respected application in the android community in case you guys know and some of the applications in this list are from this very store so in case you want to find out more applications that are really cool and are really used but are not available on the play store you can check f droid out from the link in the description below and download more such applications continuing the trend for apps that are not on the play store and app stores that you can download these apps from we've got xda labs now in case you're an android fanatic of literally any time frame you must know about xda developers and xda labs is an application from the guys over at XDA where you can browse through the latest Android news applications that may or may not be on the Play Store as well as exposed modules in case you have the exposed installer installed and your phone is rooted and also a collection of really cool wallpapers. Now just like F-Droid this is another replacement for the Google Play Store. You can find applications here that are not on the Play Store however are still good and you should still end up using them. So yeah definitely check it out. Alright guys next up we've got an application which is once again from F-Droid this is called Takiyomi and essentially it is the best manga reader uh, that is present for Android devices out there so I have been through a lot of reddit pages when I was looking for these applications and a lot of people were recommending Takiyomi uh, for this very reason as it's the best manga slash anime reader so you've got several catalogs and extensions that you can download and within these applications you can find you know different types of manga and anime pieces you can also connect figure the way you read them in the settings and all in all it just seems a very clear clutter free application that it you know does what it's supposed to do so definitely check it out all right guys next up we've got an application called blocada which is essentially a very very handy ad blocker for your device now we do understand that ads are important for developers to earn money but sometimes they are extremely intrusive and this is an application that will literally take care of all of them now you can also block list different applications as well as allow different applications to show ads in case you want and the app does more than just you know use it as an ad block you've got DNS servers you can select DNS servers to connect to which can you know increase your speed and also protect your IP address you've also got something called Blocada tunnel which essentially works like a VPN but requires a pro subscription however the free one offers you ad blocking and all in all it just does a really great job of blocking ads on all different applications that you have installed on your phone so that definitely check it out. All right guys, next up we've got another app from Fdroid and this is called Wrong Pin Shutdown. And essentially just like the name suggests, this app monitors failed login attempts and if too many failed attempts are done, then the app automatically shuts down your device. Now this seems like very handy and you can configure a lot of different things inside the application. However, the only catch is that your device has to be rooted, which is why I cannot demonstrate this application to you guys because I have not yet rooted my Galaxy S10, but all in all it's a really cool concept and it seems to does what it says so definitely check it out and let me know if it worked for you all right guys next up we've got something called mixplorer and this is essentially an all-in-one file manager for your phone that will take you through everything 
whether it is extracting files or you know installing stuff on the root folder of your device uh, this is an application which is a file manager but is not available on the Play Store and is probably one of the best clutter free ad free file managers ever it allows you to do literally anything and everything that you could do let's say in a Windows file explorer inside your computer on your Android device and you can also download a ton of different add-ons as well as you know configure the button styles and everything and all in all it's a very good file manager that you know really should be on the Play Store it's a shame it isn't but you can still download it from the link in the description below so yeah definitely check it out all right guys next up we've got frost icon pack which is an icon pack that is not available on the Play Store very surprising as to why but this is probably one of the cleanest white icon packs I have ever seen so uh, we do know that white icon packs look particularly good when it comes to you know using them with black wallpapers especially on AMOLED screens and uh, this frost icon pack has just a lot of lot of icons more than 3000 icons and all of them are super high resolution and they look particularly well against a black background as I said below so definitely check it out once again it's totally free and it will be linked in the description below alright guys last but definitely not the least we've got something called moonlight which is essentially a game streaming service that allows you to stream your PC games straight through your smartphone using just Wi-Fi yes there are a few prerequisites that such that your uh, PC has to be running uh, a GeForce card from Nvidia however the app is just so so simple to use and you can play games like Forza Horizon 4 or GTA 5 or literally any game that is on your computer on your phone uh, the only prerequisite that really seems to matter is a good internet connection so I've got pretty decent internet here uh, right now but it's still there seems to be a lot of latency and I have to reduce the bitrate and you know the resolution to you know help it work properly uh, and I don't really know why you would do this because you do need a PC that can run the game so why not just play it there but it's a really cool concept in the way that you can still do this and it's still possible and honestly when I started playing Forza Horizon 4 on my phone even though it was a little bit laggy and a little uh, you know there was a lot of latency while playing it it's absolutely incredible that you can do it using nothing but just Wi-Fi and theoretically if you have pretty good internet you could connect a controller to your phone again using Bluetooth and have a very seamless remote play experience of titles that you know are not out for mobile phones yet. It's a really cool concept and I, I was honestly amazed when I saw this application which once again is from F-Droid. So definitely check it out, it will be linked in the description below. And well guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, uh, feel free to drop a like. Comment below which was your favorite application and what are some other apps that you use on a daily basis but you know they're not available on the Play Store. Until then, this is Anubhav signing out. I'll catch you guys next time. You guys have a great day. Peace out. Thank you.